This is 2 News, coverage you can count on. Super excited since we've been waiting for the last two, three days for the storm to pass and allow us to get up here. Yeah, Mount Rose Highway is now back open. That means Mount Rose Ski Tahoe is accessible again. We will hear from skiers and riders. And road crews continue to work around the clock, clearing snow off the highways ahead of another round of winter storms. Here at I-80 and Gold Ranch, westbound traffic is closed for the fourth day, but eastbound just opened about an hour ago. I'm Alexandra Ray with a live report coming up. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ariana Bennett. Kristen has the day off. Thank you for being with us. We do begin with Stormwatch team coverage. Valentina Bonaparte is covering the opening of Mount Rose Highway. Alexandra Ray, as you just saw, is monitoring the continued closures and now reopenings on I-80 over the past. But we begin with Chief Meteorologist Mike Alger in the Weather Center. Mike, we had a little breather. Yeah. Another one headed our way, though, huh? Yeah, it's not going to be a real severe storm. I mean, especially when you stack it up against what we've been through already this month up there. Uh I'll bring the story live in the newsroom. Paul Nelson, 2 News. Yeah, I'm glad it had a happy ending. Paul, thank you. Uh, with a new storm moving in, please stay with 2 News for Stormwatch coverage on the air and on 2news.com. Well, many businesses suffer when the weather gets rough. For retailers, that means shipment delays. Ahead at 430, we'll hear from a local grocery store owner. The White House is lifting travel restrictions on several southern African countries. I'm Deborah Alferon at the White House with how the administration is battling the highly contagious Omicron variant. From KTV in Reno, this is 2 News, your local news leader at 4. 2 News, coverage you can count on. We're all streaming more video these days, and you can stream 2 News, too. Our streaming video app is available on Roku, Apple, and Amazon Fire Stick. Just search KTVN on your streaming device to download our app and start watching today. Welcome back. In our coronavirus coverage now, our state is seeing an increase in cases of COVID-19 and test positivity. Nevada reported more than 1,500 new cases today and 25 new deaths. Well, we didn't see a lot of activity today. We did see some cloud development here and there with minor breaks, even a couple of little tiny sun patches. We do have one more system coming through tonight and tomorrow. Both on the air and on 2news.com. Everyone has a favorite streaming music app, but I found one that is unique. I'm Jamie Tucker coming up with an app that lets you drop into radio broadcasts from all over the world. But first, police body cam footage shows the moments before a teenager was shot and killed in a Los Angeles department store last week. The latest on that investigation when we come back. From KTV in Reno, this is 2 News, your local news leader at 430. 2 News, coverage you can count on. This portion of 2 News is sponsored by CompaniAutoGroup.com in Carson City. Well, most music lovers have a favorite way to stream music on their phones. There's Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Pandora. One app you might not have heard of, though, lets you listen to music from places you've never been. Consumer technology reporter Jamie Tucker has chosen it as one of his apps of the year in tonight's What the Tech. Still to come on 2 News, a timeline is emerging on when we might expect to see the House January 6th committee's report on the Capitol siege. Details next. From KTV in Reno, this is 2 News. Your local news leader at 5. 2 News, coverage you can count on. From 2 News, this is breaking news. Breaking news just into our newsroom tonight. We've learned former U.S. Senator Harry Reid has died. Coming up, what's expected to happen to gas prices in the new year? We'll show you predictions from one organization after the break. From KTV in Reno, this is 2 News, your local news leader at 530. 2 News, coverage you can count on. As we look around the nation, you've probably noticed gas prices are going down a bit, but will that trend continue? 
Health Watch, sponsored by Renown Health. Americans are not being hospitalized with the Omicron variant at the same rate as other strains, but health experts say it's still dangerous, including for kids. Let's get another check in on the roads now with our traffic reporter, Nana Godinez, in the Morfem Traffic Center. How are things going out there now, Nana? Thank you, Thank you Ryan. Ryan. Even though traffic is light to moderate in Reno, Sparks, and Carson City, be cautious there is a road hazard as you come across northbound 580 and Mill Street. That's traffic. Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Mike Alger, broadcast certified by the American Meteorological Society. Whenever we get to the point where we're going to be seeing maybe some precipitation, I will swing the camera around to our backyard uh, uh, lantern here that kind of shines over our parking lot. Now, here's tonight's sports with Andrew Nepson. High school basketball tournaments are plenty during the holiday season, but there's nothing quite like the one over at Sparks High, don't you think? Obviously, we've been reporting a lot on the closures in the past. Yeah. You hope for yeah. good signs, right? Well, I think, like I say, they're going to deal with a little bit more tonight. This is not a major storm coming through tonight. Mm. It could delay some of the openings, for instance, uh, Interstate 80 westbound. But uh, it shouldn't take a lot to clear this one out. And then we do have a good solid probably four days from Thursday through the weekend where we're not really going to be looking for much. Now, as you're ringing in the new year, <laughs> if you're, uh, you know, of the of the oak to to get out on Virginia or whatever, how, right. how a lot of people do that, obviously, and or, or even I think more impressively up around South Lake Tahoe, make yeah. sure you dress warm. It's gonna be a very cold start to the day. Then we bring in a possibility of more storms coming in next week. And Tahoe obviously probably being colder than that. Much colder. All right, yep. Mike, thanks. Thanks for being with us tonight, everyone. Hope to see you at 6.30.